told you he was giving you the okay, okay, back today to make a way. He don't uh, die today. Uh, so talk about the the fire in the Africa project um, from your perspective. Is fire in Little Africa is gonna put us there. It's gonna get us to. It's gonna make Oklahoma look good, and it's gonna give Oklahoma a window for success. Uh, the window that we've all been like, not even just the artists has been waiting on. I think now that artists here are finally starting to get support from the city itself like Oklahoma support is finally gonna like it's like fans get fan fatigue if you don't blow up in a window of what they want and it's like all right he hasn't blown up yet he's just gonna be right here and we're gonna love him at this level yeah. but they want you to exceed but it's like we're just gonna love you at this level they don't really ex like rooting for the Cowboys it's like, they know you're going to be 8-8, eight eight, yeah. but we're going to love you anyway, but you're going to be 8-8. Eight eight. You're going to be 7-9. I, I hope you're not I don't a Cowboys fan. My Cowboys fan. did to, I hope to, you're not, to deserve that, but okay. I hope you're not a Cowboys fan. I'm a Cowboys fan, but... <laughs> but it's like we love them. We know they're going to be 8-8, eight eight, bro. Yeah. No matter how many stars they get, they we're going to love them for just who they is, regardless. <laughs> and we're not... We're going to say they're going to win it, we're like, this person got a chance to be <laughs> up there with Kendrick Lamar, and this person got a chance to be up there with, like, that's the Super Bowl. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. But they don't expect it. They no, that's a great it. analogy. You know what I'm, hurt my feelings I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but that's, that's kind of how it is. So now it's Fire and Little Africa is going to, like, let fans see what we look like on the big stage. You know what I'm saying? And what's that? what that's going to do it's like open up the floodgates for Oklahoma. The eyes is gonna be like, people in New York are, is gonna wanna check out somebody from Oklahoma as opposed to, are y'all riding horses or are y'all doing like, their antennas is gonna be receptive to receive. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Any Anyone or anything that comes out of Oklahoma, they're gonna be like, okay, for this, Next four years, they're gonna be like, let's see what's, what comes out of it. Just like when Atlanta first popped, or Chicago, or Oakland, or you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. it's, gonna, it's gonna feel like the hyphy movement when like Oakland was just spitting out people when they first, you know what I'm saying, yeah. hit the national level. That's how I feel. So that's what Fire and Little Africa gonna do. But as far as like change the way people think, I just how how we, how we fighting for like black empowerment and shit like that? That's that's a whole another. Spears gonna do his thing, man. We we really represent it for for the town and, and for the state and for for our history. So I think I think the ancestors gonna be proud. I think the town gonna be proud, and, and I'm ready to I'm ready to see that in real time. Like, for sure. For real. Yeah, no, I'm excited to hear it too. Um, how did? Y'all recorded one of the days in like a, it was like the former Ku Klux yeah. Klan leader's house. So, so he wasn't a leader, bro. He was like a, he was like, because he was so famous, he was a founder of Tulsa. He was like the richest guy in Tulsa. Mm -hmm. He couldn't openly, openly be a Klan member, but he was like, he, he was, was with them. Yeah. Like, hey, I, I'll take this money. <laughs> I gotta do what I need to do to fuck this shit up. So, um, yeah, his 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 uh his house was modeled after Robert E. Lee. It looked exactly like Robert E. Lee, which the Confederate commander, general, whatever. And um my one of my close friends that I grew up with, Felix Jones, who played for the Cowboys, uh, purchased that house in twenty fourteen and I just hollered at him one day if I could shoot a video out there and do my album cover. And he was up into it. And then two years later, we started a record label called Skyline Star Records. And then View hit me. And y'all, I think y'all talking to View today. Mm -hmm. And he was like, bro, I was like, bro, y'all want to record this shit in here? Like, it's spooky, but it'll like, yeah. it'll be cool. You know what I'm saying? So View made it happen. And we, it was like Revenge of the Dreamers, bro. It was like rap camp. It was just rappers and studios everywhere and, and we've been rebranding that house forever